Peter Elides with you for Stock Market Cycles Update for Tuesday, April the 7th. Um, up to now, since the bottom, the progression has been steady. We've been getting upside projections that led to upside projections. Now the going gets a little tougher because we come into an interpretation area where, well, let's not talk about it. Let's show you. So as you know, today we were a lot higher than where we closed. But this is a closing price chart. And these were the very short-term projections that were generated yesterday with a big rally. And we were into this area today with, here's the closing price right here. Um, and we were in that area. We could have closed easily up here had we stayed anywhere near the upper range of the day. We didn't do that. So theoretically, at least, we're still waiting to get the closing price projections up here. That's a three and a half to four day offset and nominal 10 day projection. The next longer one, nominal 20 day projection, again, we were easily inside this projection window of 26.99, well above that. And, but we closed here, we did not get up to it. So, and the same picture again, for the nominal five-week projection, we were well into this projection range. In fact, if we show you the closing price charts, these are the closing, I'm saying, if we show you the intraday bars, the equivalent same charts, then you see a completely different story. This is the only one I believe that wasn't met. And these offsets, we'll take a quick look at them, these offsets are the 12.1 to 13.8, that says 14 because it's the simplified version. But this is the nominal five-week offset. And as you can see, that one was missed. That one required getting up to at least 27.78. But I believe the two shorter-term ones, the nominal 20-day, which is right here. Nope, that one was missed. Oh, I know. I know what happened here. Hold on. You notice how those were missed? And this one was made, this is the shortest one, the nominal 10-day. What I was referring to in terms of the ones that were made, and this is what makes it just a little bit more difficult to analyze today, is I have 30-minute charts that are the equivalents of the ones that I just showed you on a daily chart. So let's look at those 30-minute charts. The first one we want to look at is this one right here. This is the equivalent of the three and a half to four day offset on the intraday chart and look what happened here. Very first bar of the day met, okay? So that projection's met. That's the equivalent of the nominal 10 day, the shortest one. Let's take a look at the next longer one, the nominal 20 day projection. Very first bar of the day, in fact, throughout most of the day today, the lower end of that projection, which was 26.9832, was met okay now let's go to the next longer projection which is the nominal five week again remember these are the 30 minute chart equivalents of these projections on the daily chart look at this the very first bar of the day again nominal five week projection met so according to these intraday charts every single projection on an intraday basis the ones that we've been looking at for the past few days, everyone has been met. I think this is the next longer one that will show you indeed. So all the three projections were met and look where we are in terms of the next offsets. Nowhere near them. So the rule is all projections are met, no further projections no further projections generated, which would be these bars right here, these offsets, you're at a top. And that's an actionable top. Now, you can make the argument from these intraday charts that the top has been seen and it's down from here. The problem is, and that's why we do closing price charts, that those closing prices were in the window where they could have satisfied the closing projections, but they didn't do that. And that makes me le lean towards the opinion that we're still going to get another move and close in those areas of the upside projections for the closing price charts. 
So that's what I'm looking at now. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have this down to enough of a science that I can tell you that no, there's no question about it. We reached the top today. The important thing is we did reach into the intraday projection windows for all the offsets. It's the closes that are lacking and actually the intradays on a couple of the daily charts. So that's where we stand. Um, you're probably wondering about the uh, the NDX projections, we're not going to go into that today. We'll wait and see what tomorrow brings us in terms of more information. And we're going to leave this where it is. So hopefully you know where we stand. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the update. We'll be back again tomorrow, Wednesday, to update you further. This gets very interesting now because it's just a question of intradays and closing projections. We met on the uh, on the short term 30 minute charts we have met all upside projections with no further being generated we'll talk to you tomorrow